Well, here's the finished boiler, and it's uh, basically got a cover on it, which is part of the function. It's an aluminum cover with Nomex on the inside. I'll show you that. I can get it off carefully here. It has a couple of dimples here to catch the sides. And if I lift it open, I can pull it off. Take out the front plate, the cover plate. There we go. And this will come out in the boat so I can inspect the boiler and fill it. And this is just a press fit cover plate. So there's the boiler. And it is quite rough, just this is my first small boiler, so. But as it stands, I just needed something to suspend it level. So we're almost level there now. I'm going to just tweak it a bit more. But in the boat, I can adjust it with wood underneath. It puts out 100 PSI steam as well, and it is completely sealed. There's no leaks anywhere. There's the tubes underneath. You can see I've heated them up quite a bit. Very heavy silver solder welds on the areas there, brazings more like welds with the amount of silver soda I used. And then I've got proper end caps, proper copper end caps that I use. Uh, this is copper pipe as well. So very, very happy with that. I've uh, got copper tubing throughout. Then I can just put this on. This will fit a variety of burners, large, small. So I'll be able to adjust to the best one for the boat. And if I move this in the right position, I might even do it one-handed, but these are the parts that you have to get on the front here. So it is a two-handed operation, but there, I managed. And then this goes at the back and it's bolted to the boat here. So there you go, that's my boiler, my creation for this special little boat, which is getting a lot of reworking. I've already got the wood down on the back mahogany and birch to match the side mahogany and then I will be doing the front today and tomorrow and it'll look more like a bit of a barrel back boat than space age barrel back boat because I've put this exhaust cowl on the back and we'll have one rocket steam outlet coming out of the back of the boat here that will go through here and then come out the back here of the shell over the end of the boat that way so should be a fun boat to build <clears throat> I've definitely got plans for the displacement lubricator I've worked on the rudder and it's almost ready to go I'm going to use this this is a chain link UHF receiver good to about 14 kilometers that I've tested with a quadcopter so I used to do long distance quadcopter flying so that's a 14 kilometer range so I don't think we'll be losing track of this boat it'll also have a twin that will be self starting and we'll have a reverse so it will be able to get out of trouble if it needs to build steam up and I have also got a GPS for it because I think it'll be a lot faster than the stream linea and uh, the GPS will give us a speed and uh, velocity of the boat. So we'll test it out that way and have some fun. Anyways, have a good day, guys. See you later.